What do you want to know about him? Peter's a freak. In a good way. I'm talking about Peter. Peter DeGroot. Okay, whatever. That guy's weird. The teenage rockers uh, don't quite know what to think of him. Uh, I have issues with Peter. Some of the younger ones call him Santa because of his big bushy beard and his pleasant demeanor. I just, I don't know, I love Peter. But it's like red hair. It's like the anti-Santa. It doesn't keep secrets very well. Some call him Professor Ambot. I think that uh, Peter is my closest male friend. Some call him the Dork Messiah. Besides my boyfriend, I think. Glazed eyes, slumped shoulders. I think Peter is probably one of the most thoughtful people I know when it comes to just thoughts and like thinking things through or whatever. Small twitches, mumbled responses. Well, people think Peter's really distant, you know, like they do get uncomfortable with him because he doesn't talk as much or whatever. This is one side of Ambot Road Ride. But really when it comes down to it, I think that if you get past your own like discomfort with silence and stuff, uh, Peter's actually very approachable and very out there. There's not much to say. I first met Peter at Ty's house and there was this guy with red hair and a red beard and all green clothes on and I think a tie, hands in his pockets. He may have done a show that night, but I didn't go. And he was just pacing back and forth very systematically and he was like mumbling things to himself. Looked like he was deep in thought. Walked back and forth across this area where I was watching for I swear like an hour and I just watched him and I thought he was so funny. And like, I just liked him right away. I liked him right there. Oh, wait, wait, I've got something. Are you filming? Yeah. Jury duty again? No, that was, oh, I shouldn't have done that.